Today I'm going to show you how to install lots in The Sims 2. I get a lot of questions on my blog when people download my lots and they don't understand how to get them into their game. So installing lots is different than other types of custom content. You can't just download a lot and throw it in your downloads folder and be done. It won't show up in your game if you do it that way. So I'm going to show you two different ways to install lots. The first way is the easiest way and the second way is the recommended way. Here we are on Mod The Sims and I'm gonna download this really cute base game mini starter by Plastic Box. So I'm just gonna go to files and I am going to download it here. When you download a Sims 2 lot package, it will come as a Sims 2 pack file. So just copy this over to your desktop. Once it's on your desktop, the easiest way to install it is just double click. You may get a message asking you if you wanna allow this app to make changes, say yes and then wait. Sometimes it will take several minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. Just give it a minute and you will get a window that pops up confirming the installation like this. Do you want to install the following content? Say install. The custom content was successfully installed. And then you know that it's gonna show up in your lot bin in the game. One reason why I don't recommend installing your custom content just by double clicking on it and using the Body Shop installer is because you can end up with this. So this is custom content that was included in the lot that I downloaded and the in-game installer just renames it this gibberish and you have no idea what these files are, where to put them in your downloads folder. It makes organizing your custom content very difficult. So I really dislike ending up with these. Now there are ways that you can go in uh, to SimPE, find out exactly what these files are and rename them, but there's really no need to do all that when you can just use Clean Installer. You can find Clean Installer on Mod The Sims and I will link to it down below in the description box. All you have to do is go to files and then you're going to want to download the last file on the list, Sims 2 Pack Clean Installer version 1.6.22. Once you've downloaded it, extract it into your downloads folder, open up the folder and double click to install the program. I'll assume that you already know how to install a program, so I'm not going to go any further with that. Once you've installed Clean Installer, go to the Sims 2 Pack file that you downloaded for the lot and choose Open with with Sims 2 Pack Clean Installer. The first time that you do this, the Clean Installer will not be listed here, so you'll have to choose another app. Once you click there, it also will not be in this list, so you'll need to choose more apps. And this is if you're on Windows 10. I don't know what this looks like if you're on Windows 7, but I'm sure it's similar. And then you'll have to go down to look for another app on this PC. Then navigate to wherever the program is installed and choose it and choose open. I install the clean installer into a folder in my documents called The Sims 2, where I put all of my Sims 2 tools and external programs. Now you'll get a window that looks like this. It's going to show you the packaged lot. And if you click on these, you will get a preview of them too, which is pretty cool. This, this is the packaged lot and this is all the custom content that comes with it. Now you could choose not to install the custom content. You can unclick these and just install the package lot if you want. Or if you want to include the custom content, the good thing about the clean installer is that it doesn't rename it for you. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna choose install and I'm gonna install the lot plus all the custom content that comes with it. Keep a default installation to the teleport folder. Make sure it's going to EA Games, The Sims 2, Ultimate Collection, or The Sims 2 Teleport folder. Click Install, File Successfully Installed. And now if I go into my Downloads folder, I see the custom content, but it has not been, been renamed into those long alphanumeric gibberish names. Instead, it has the actual name of the custom content. So that's gonna help me with placing it into the correct folder and keeping it organized in my downloads. So I know that this is a privacy window, so I would move this into my build mode, doors and windows folder. This is another window it looks like that I would move into my Windows folder. So that just helps you keep things organized because it doesn't rename it to some big long gibberish name. And I also like that you have the ability, let's say you already have some of this custom content in your name, you already have independent expressions. You can just uncheck that and then it won't install it again. So I really do recommend a clean installer for installing your lots. If you like to keep your 
custom content very organized like I do. Now, after you've installed your lots, once you load your game, you will find them here in the houses and lot bin just by clicking on this little house. Right here is the lots and houses bin and anything that you installed should show up here. If you installed an apartment lot, then you need to go to specialty lots. I've had a lot of people uh, run into this problem and think that they didn't install the lot correctly when really they just weren't going to the right place. So make sure you click on specialty lots, the second uh, little icon here, and then all of your apartment lots can be found here. And that's all there is to installing lots in The Sims 2. I hope that you found this helpful and that now you can get those lots into your game. My name is Cindy and I will see you with a new video very soon. Thank you so much for watching.